Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, we've been working our way through um, some projects using the Snowflake Showcase products um, and more specifically the Snow is Glistening stamp set and the Snowfall um, thinlets, which are all mostly in here. I've got some of them out that I'm using at the moment. Um, so I've got another project for you today. We're getting to the end now. I think there's one more to come after this maybe. Um, so um, I hope I've managed to persuade you that you really need these in your collection. Um, I've loved using them and made. So I think I've made some really nice projects that I've really enjoyed making. Um, so today's project is a floating snow snowflake card. So if you can see, if I hold it like this, when it's stood up, um, the snowflake floats. I don't know if you can see that. So if I do it that way, can you see that the flow snowflake is on this acetate? So it looks like it's it's floating. Um, and I have to say right at the beginning that I need to give credit to Stampin' with Glitter Mum, who is on Facebook and on YouTube. And I have cased her card. I've changed the colours, but actually this is her design. So I just wanted to give a heads up to Stampin' with Glitter Mum. Um, and I will put it in the credits and everything below as well, just to make sure that she gets the credit for the design. So I'm going to show you how to make the card. Um, I've made this one in white and silver with smoky slate. Um, I'm going to change the colours a little bit again this time. I'm going to use a crumb cake base and I'm going to use gold and white this time. I'm going to make a gold one. Okay, so my base, my base card measures 20 centimetres by 10 and a half centimetres. So this is a normal size, um, slightly longer there, but then you score at five centimetres so that you end up with an A6 um, card blank which is 15 by 10 and a half and we've got this odd panel here and then I'm going to bring in a panel of our window sheets um, and my panel is the same size as the card blank so the same size as this so it's 15 by 10 and a half and I've already put some tear and tape on here I've actually run out of tear and tape making this project so I'm going to have to order some more pretty quickly um, because I use it all the time. Um, let's take the backing off there. And then I just need to position my window sheet so that it is straight and in the centre there. Is that going to be right? That's, there we go. It does. The problem with tear and tape is it does stick as soon as you put it down. There we go. So I've got my window sheet on there. Um, and I'm then going to stick another panel on the bottom of the window sheet there. And this panel measures five centimetres by ten and a half. So it's the same size as this panel up here, except that one was folded. Um, so I'm hoping this colour scheme is going to work. Hoping I can also get the backing off the tear and tape. So this is going to be positioned on the window sheet. And then you get this panel in the middle, which makes it look like it's floating. There we go. That's that's um, the beginning of it. OK, I then have two gold panels that are going to fit on here. The gold panels each measure 10 centimetres by four and a half centimetres. So they're half a centimetre both sides shorter than um, smaller than the other panel, than the crumb cake panel. So pop those off there and again you could do this with Tombow if you wanted to or Snail. Um, I'm using tear and tape today. Actually I'm going to live to regret it because that stuck before I was ready. Um, as you know I do prefer using Tombow but I've actually started using quite a lot of tear and tape recently. It seems to be quite quick and quite mess free. Um, so, and then we need some white panels. Oh, before I do the white panels though, I am just going to put a couple of other panels on the back here. Now, you know I said I'd run out of tear and tape. I've had to use my red back tape um, as a substitute because I haven't got tear and tape. It's not as easy to use. I have to cut it rather than tear it. So it's not as convenient, but 
it will do as a substitute while I'm waiting for my tear and tape to arrive from Stampin' Up! And I expect Stampin' Up! are going to be busy because we're in the middle of... Um, we're, we're in our online extravaganza, so I expect they've had loads of sales over the last few days. So, so that panel just... Um, goes over that one and that one so that you get a nice finish on the inside as well as the outside so you don't see the tape there we go so that's the basis of my card blank now I've got two little bits of card here white card they measure four centimeters by nine and a half centimeters I'm going to put them on a piece of paper and I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping I'm going to bring in Sahara sand. I did um, experiment a bit to see which colour would do best here. On my original version, I used Smoky Slate to echo the silver. This time I want to echo the gold and I'm going to use Sahara sand. So I've got three little stamps that I need to use here. That one, that one and that one. So I'm going to start off by stamping snowflakes and then come in with the little scattering, little tiny snowflakes, little scattering one, and just fill in a couple of the spaces and then come back in with the snowflake again. And then maybe another one over here. And then fill in the space. So you just carry on filling up the, the, um, the card like this. You've got two pieces to do, so I'm going to do that one while I've got it out. Um, another snowflake over here. Might be another little snowflake down in that corner just hanging off. One here. So you can just stamp these randomly all over. And then we've got one little snowflake, one tiny, tiny snowflake, which will fill in any of the gaps that we've got left. So let's just finish with the snowflake, that one hanging off, that one hanging off, do one more over here, fill in the gaps again and then isn't that pretty, it's so pretty, it makes such a lovely pattern, I love using these stamps and then I'm just going to come in with this tiny tiny little <clears throat> snowflake sorry about my voice don't know what's suddenly wrong with it and just fill in any of the anywhere where there seems to be a rather large gap just fill it in with this snowflake and then your whole sheet will be covered there we go that's all my stamping done put the lid on my stamp pad and then these panels are going to attach to the gold ones Again, I've already put tear and tape on the back here. Oops. Um, there, so I loved this card when I saw it. Stamping with Glitter Mum does hers in a purple colour scheme and a turquoise colour scheme. But I thought I would go with sort of more traditional Christmas colours for bit mine. Um, but um, I really love this card. Um, and I'm thinking I might do some non-Christmasy versions of it, actually. The other thing I'll have to order, though, is some more window sheets. Because when I went to use that, I didn't realise I was so short of window sheets either. Right, OK. So that's all of that done. Now, all we need to do is put the snowflake in the middle. This is the big snowflake die from the Snowfall die thin thinlets. And if you think you can survive without any of these um, dies, then you really need this big one. This is gorgeous, this lovely big um, um Snowflake. So we're going to pop it in there, I think. So there we go. And make sure we centre it so that it's in the middle. And stick. There we go. And the last little thing, I've cut out one of the other snowflakes, this um, die cut. And I'm just going to put a little bit of Tombow on there because it's so, where's my Tombow? Because it's so um, fine. I'm just going to use a little bit of, a little dot of Tombow here and there to stick my white snowflake down that will fit exactly in the middle of this snowflake. I showed you on a previous video how there's lots of different layering possibilities for these dies. Um, and this is one of them. This snowflake fits almost exactly in the middle how gorgeous is that 
oh I haven't done the panel just one last little bit white panel in the middle so that the gold really stands out so just take a white panel that is again half a centimeter all round smaller than the panel so the panel was 15 by 10 and a half so this is 14 and a half by 10 I will put metric measurements on my blog as I type it up there we go and that's the card finished there we are so we've got a, a gold one and a silver one i wonder which one is your favorite okay but thank you to glitter mum for stamping with glitter mum for that card idea i really love it and i hope you have too so that's it for me today um please get pop to my online shop if you'd like to buy any of these products remember the dies and the stamps are only available till the end of november or while stocks last um, and one of the things that we had in this um product suite of products the um white velvet paper sold out really quickly so i'm not sure what stock levels are like but if you really don't want to miss out don't delay ordering them and i'll be back soon thanks very much for watching and i'll see you soon bye